Hi. So I am in the process of repairing a structure that I have had embodied with a couple of different strings over time, but because there is some wood sharp corners in the insides of these pipes, brass pipes, it has a tendency of cutting through the, the string over time. So it's time again to repair this one. And I've got this string and I've got these and this is five and a half dozen uh, brass pipes. And the structure that it's going to turn into, if all goes well, uh, is um, hiding somewhere here. No, not almost, almost. Well, always well prepared. It's actually funny, there's one just behind the camera. I could have taken that. Oh, and there's another one here. This is what I was looking for. I was hiding it. It was hiding in plain sight, just under this. All right, so what this is gonna be, this is gonna turn into half of this. So this is the membrane of a two frequency eight eyes. And I was asked to open up the talk about the eyes by reminding everyone that when I speak of eyes, I speak of triangles and uh, the eight eyes is my name for the, the structure of space-time that is otherwise commonly known or identified as the so-called octahedron, a so-called platonic solid, which is not really solid nor platonic, but Anyways, I'm not speaking of eight uh, of octahedra. I'm speaking of eight eyes, and just so that is clear, here is one. And you can see that this is actually not solid. This is a dynamic structure. It's a dynamic membrane because this one doesn't have the interior, um, the interior structure, which. I do have another one somewhere around here, but you know how it is. They have too many places to hide among their kin. So um, just as this is, is it good? It is good because this is a stable structure when it's expanded and folded, but you can also collapse it. One can collapse it and not with these beads, but with some uh, stuff, some materials like paper straws, you can actually fold it all together into two small eighties. Um, but we're just making half of it like this, but we will add the hex in the base of that. All right, and that's what we're gonna do now. So I thought I'd do this like this so that uh, we have a chance of talking through what it is that I do. Um, and generally speaking, this is a brilliant shape for stuff like uh, houses. You know, this is a, a shape that has uh, a rather big volume and a hexagonal floor, a hexagonal ground, which is quite round, you know, for being uh, as balanced as it is. It's the balance bet of a circle between inside and outside, right? And I've made the, perhaps I've made the mistake that I have actually chosen to have the entire string of this one in one and not go bit by bit and put knots between them, which would have been 
way wiser, I think. Because this is so long that it is going to keep untangling as we go. But anyways, I hope that's fine. It's, you know, this is almost like a... I don't know if this is anything that anyone really wants to watch because it's, it takes as long as it takes. Um, but I do think this it's good sometimes to go with the process from the beginning to the end. Although in this case we're going to be using both ends um, as the beginning. And what this is all about is tying up beads. In this case, the bead is a pipe, so it's a lot longer than round. Um, and as I do that, if I do put, as I just did, the line that I'm using to weave this structure into this pipe on one end and I got it out on the other, this has now become living geometry because it is a lifeline, uh, uh, an umbilical cord that is happening, it happens to go in here, that's one happening, it happens to go through this as it is, that's a second happening, and it comes out on this end as a third happening, right? And in synergetics and circular thinking, as we have talked about before, a happening is the center of a sphere. The actual uh, expanse or scale or size of the sphere is um, not necessarily important to know, but in this kind of configuration the sphere of going in and that of going out are equal in, 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 in size and their diameter is as long as this pipe, which I call a finger, a vector, um, because this finger points both ways, and it is half, it's the radius of one sphere going from the center of the sphere to the place where it meets the other, and in that place begins the radius of the other sphere, and two times the radius is the diameter of one. So, the place where it goes through, the third happening, or second, or first, however we want to look at it, has its own center of gravity, because in a way, even this one bead is already a whole body. And we're going to complement it, we're going to add more. So, just as a, a line that I draw on a paper is the connection between the happening of putting the, the, the pen or whatever onto the paper, tracing out its path and lifting it again or changing course the same way this is a living line and as such this kind of geometry just keeps on going without ever having to worry about abstracting the mind away from what is happening all right so i'm gonna add three um or two, I already had one, now I'm gonna add one because I already added a second. I need three fingers, because with three fingers I can make a triangle, I can close an eye, as I would say. And now I'm gonna move this all the way along without, uh, hopefully without entangling it too much. kind of keep on throwing the line out in front of me into two places so that I I do have less of an entanglement but this is you know quantum mechanics this is all lots of entangle it's just there is the spontaneous entanglement that just happens out of its own and then there's the mindful entanglement that I'm trying to, to do. And sometimes they work uh, against one another. Or 
sometimes they coalesce. All right, now I've got these somewhere in the middle of the line and all three are on the line and moving freely as they would. And now I'm just going to make ends meet, which is to say that I'm going to add the one end or beginning one playing end of the line into the place where the other one exits the other end of the triangle that I'm going to make. All right, so I am closing a loop here and the simple most loop, the simple most circle in this way is an I, is a triangle. And I, I would call this a left angle because all the angles are the same. Five dozen degrees, 60. 60 degrees. Three times 60 gives a triangle of this kind where every sphere is similar in size and weight. And I call that a left angle, 60 degrees, five dozen. Because 90 degrees, if that is a right angle, who's to say that this shouldn't be a left angle? All right, I've got my first eye and you see how it closes. It pulls in as I pull out, um, it draws together and now it's the closest drawn spheres, three of them. And we can look through it and it's a plane and all the good things, but we want more. So we're gonna add onto one side of it. One side of the line is gonna get two more fingers And then I'll make ends meet again and feed the, the other end of the line into this. Like so. Okay, and I make ends meet and take the the first end of the line, whatever. It's always just having one at play and then turning to the other. All the rest with is, is not so important. And also, it's the same line. It's just one end and another end of the same line. But that's where the, the good stuff happens, you know. Every end is the beginning of something new. And here we have another eye. So we've got already our pair of eyes. And this is one finger less than it would take to make two individual eyes, because that would take six, and this is only five fingers. It's also coincidentally the number five in our dozenal number system, because it's five fingers. All right, we want more, because I want to make half of this, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna begin with one of these corners where it's four fingers so it's clear we're working with something that's gonna have an eight eyes ca characteristic to it um, so I'm gonna need four fingers here one two three four fingers around that corner currently I've got uh, a heavy heavy side and a light side where I'm coming out it was balanced the step before now it's this, it's out of balance, so to speak, and the, the light side is my playing leg where I take steps around the circle while the heavy side with more mass, more gravity, um, is the, the leg that I'm turning around, right? All right, so this has, the heavy side has three fingers, I need four, so I need one more. I'll take the outside finger, the uh, string, sorry, the outside, end of the line and I'll add two more fingers to it to open up another eye here one and two <laughs> okay that's a long line did I ever mention that But I think if I do it this way, I keep the entanglement low. I kept hold of the, the beginning of that or the end of that line while I was throwing out the rest. And now I take the other end and I make ends meet. Close yet another loop. 
open yet another eye in a process. And if you're wondering, this string is a uh, plastic string. I don't know what kind of fiber it is, perhaps polyester. It's not my favorite kind of string, but the, the trouble is, one side of the trouble that I need to accommodate is that this is a, and now I draw it close, um, this is a very thin kind of pipe, so not much of, not many choices in terms of lines that I can use that are still strong enough to hold it, and at the same time I want to use this as a dryer, a drying rack for the dishes, so it's not good, not necessar necessarily a good choice to take a natural fiber for that because it's just gonna rot in no time. Okay, so I've got four fingers on this one corner here, uh, this corner, heavy corner, this is the light corner, and with that I'll, I, I have the four that I want to have this corner complete, and therefore I close this corner. So I take the inside line, the one that is here, and move it, it comes out of this finger. And I'll take the opposite finger in this case, which is the first of this corner, and I'll feed the line out of that so that both of my lines are on the outside of this one circle here, or half a circle really. See, it's half a hexagon, three out of six eyes. Nope. And most of the corners in this structure are gonna have six fingers. There's only three that have four fingers. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that took a moment. So much for entanglements. Um, I was saying there's going to be three corners that have four fingers, and most of the rest have six. Like, actually, no, not all, because there's going to be ones that have only five fingers to them on the bottom. But we're not there yet. We are still closing this one, and we are now in the con in the uh, moment we're coming out of two fingers rather than just one. And whenever this is the case, we have something where we're in control of a lot of movement because we're at the ends of a triangle, um, and we want to bridge the gap between these two with a third finger because we are already got two of the triangle active here all we need is a third between them and that's where I always speak of closing the gap um, so I just add one more finger and go through with both ends of the line and as that happens we are getting to yet another I opened in our structure, in our many eyes. And this is always a moment, this making ends meet, um, where we're closing yet another hole. Hole without W and with W, because this, a triangle is a hole in its own. Um, and you can tell because whenever I've got a whole thing, a whole system, happening going on as I close uh, as I draw on it it draws together it draws close and that's a good sign for having a hole 
at hen. All right, now we've got our first corner here. Four fingers as we wanted. And we're back in one of the perimeter fingers um, on the outside, so to speak, of what we've done so far. And it's a balanced moment because both corners have only three fingers. So in that case, uh, whatever we want to do, the next triangle is just going to be two fingers added to either side because it's a balanced place and it doesn't matter whether we turn one way or the other. Um, and I'll just add two fingers to one side, to one end of the line. And then I take the other and I'll make ends meet. And as I make the, the ends meet, meet, I open another eye. I am I. You know, an eye for, for a four eyes makes the whole world go see. Makes the world go round. Closing, opening another eye, drawing it into being, and here it is. And now we see we have a different kind of situation than before. We have this finger being active and coming out of both of its corners, uh, here and there, both ends of the finger. And I'm turning around this corner now because it's the heavy side. And this one has four fingers, this one has two. If I wanted to close this as a just a simple eight eyes, I would close it now because then this corner would only have four fingers to it. However, because I want to create something that is the two frequency eight eyes, between the, you can see here that one can see the, the, the light color big triangle and there's eight of those, but they are made up of two frequencies. So it's a, uh, there's three spheres here on along this edge and two intervals between them. So it's two frequency. And that is to say there's always a, a corner, a, a, a vortex between the two extremes here. Like this is the, the, the eight eyes corners and between them is one that has six fingers because it's a neutral corner. And as we keep increasing, increasing the membrane frequency, you know, there's more and more of those six fingers. So we need another two fingers on this. That's all I want to say. So I take the outside end, right? The, the light side where it's only two fingers because I want to turn two more steps around this corner. So I'll add one eye, which is two fingers. Because we're already coming out of one finger and every eye only needs three fingers. There. And I'll make ends meet, close this half here. And now I've got five fingers in that corner and still two in the light side. And five is one less than what I need. So I'm going to add one more eye to that corner. So I'll put two more fingers on the outside, the light side. There.
before making ends meet again and leading this other end into and through and out of this finger whereby I open another eye to be something else. Oh, we have a self knot accident. Created a slip knot in its cause. And without that, <laughs> I can draw this in and draw it close. And with that, I've got my six fingers for this corner here. There's six here, and now I make I close this corner, taking the inside finger, the heavy, no, the inside line on the heavy side, where the six fingers meet, and bringing it out of the the finger on the other end of this corner. Like if I look at the corner, I see the lines connecting the fingers, jumping. The gaps and like I can go follow those lines and see aha they're going around in this corner and then there's a gap like between the last finger and the one that I'm coming out of or the first finger for that matter and that's where I go into oh. and then I come out on these by these two sides here and as before when we're coming out of two, we're in the process of closing a corner and we only need one more to bridge the gap, which is to pass both ways through. One. And two. Oh, and you know, if I don't know, if you want to do this, if you are doing it while watching this, but um, this is a pattern that one can do with anything, skill independent and whatever. Like I could do it with single beats, round beats, and it would look vastly different. Could use a pair of beats or three or four, you know, higher freq frequency on the fingers. Um, I can use pipes like this size, I can use straws, I can use bamboo, I can use, one can use steel pipes that are six meters long and it's still gonna work the same way. It's just gonna take a lot more ro rope if we're going through the whole pipe, which is why there is other ways where we need less rope. However, this is valid. This is a pattern that we can use to grow this however big we want. and. You know, it's good to know. So, we're coming out of this finger now. Looking around, we find that one side has three fingers here, and the other has four. So, I would say the three one is the light side, and the four is heavy. And we're turning around the four, and we want six fingers for that one as well. Let's do that. Let's add, therefore, another eye on this outside, on the light side here. Adding two fingers. And making ends meet by going through the last one into taking the other end of the line going into where we just come came out of with that line we were drawing there well i suppose 
the fact that this was already half an hour and the app cut out the video which gave me a second time to eat a snack and do some do some little things um, speaks to how long this takes when one is explaining it all the way along um, I can tell you that it wouldn't take me as long as I if I weren't explaining it all the way by the way we were just closing that eye here now we've got five fingers on that corner so we need one more one more finger, one more eye, it's two more fingers to be sure. Where's the beginning? Here. Yes. Um, when I'm just doing this without explaining every step, I can usually something like this takes a while but it's a short while it's surprisingly quick because it's not really m much more to be done than to draw all the connections of course sometimes it takes forever because at one step of the the way something happens uh, perhaps I was in a hurry or it was just there's this tiny little thing that I didn't uh, that didn't catch my attention beforehand so I get my attention drawn to it the hard way or whatever it is sometimes it, the simplest thing can take forever um, and other other times I'm doing something rather complex and everything goes well and I'm surprised that it didn't take it took no time at all I mean just as long as it took but that's not long given everything because I mean you see this stuff is something where besides the fact that I'm quite free to choose the, the ingredients as I please as, as I feel necessary or called for by a specific uh, thing that I'm doing that is true you know I can choose freely um, but generally speaking I, I don't need much like I don't need necessarily to have these ingredients be machine made of course oftentimes today things are and that is okay but I could use stuff as it grows um, this is a very deep tech you know I don't need uh, a computer for this or anything I don't need to to 3d print that's unnecessary on this slide because this is a very nice way of just doing it by hand that I think is very worthwhile so I hope you're still around and if you are then you probably agree already anyways we got this place here I'm coming out of that corner and this and this heavy side now has two, four, six fingers. That's all I need. So I close it. And I take the inside string, the one on the heavy side. And again, I'll look at the corner. And perhaps this time I can show it close up. Just this corner here. And there is the line is drawn between all of these fingers already except for the one that I'm coming out of and this one that I'm holding right now which was the first present in that corner so to speak and that's the one I'm going through now with the adjacent with the inside string and the wind is Drawing up. There. All right. 
With that, I'm coming out of two fingers, so I just need a third to bridge the gap, closing this corner, this corner of an eye, having yet another eye opened. And again, on this, in this step, it never matters which side goes first. It's both that go through this one. In a way, every triangle is it's one and other, or an other, one and other, you know, another, and one another. That's the third, where one and an other pass through. This seems to be a very slim opening. We'll see. I'm trying. Sometimes it helps to have the line that comes out already and draw a little on that just to help the, the one emerging along. And there we go, closing yet another eye. All right, now let's see where we are. If these two corners that we've just passed, that have six fingers now, if those are the top of it, and we're now on the bottom of our structure, and as far as I know, all of the corners around the bottom of it have five fingers. And so I've got four fingers on the heavy side and three on the light side. Four is one short of five. So I'll add one more eye, two more fingers to have one more finger at that corner. There. Huh. There. And I make ends meet. Um, get this one through the other way. See the first finger of this eye was one. Then we added another. And this one is the third that is one and another. drawing that in. We have our five fingers for this corner and that's all we need. So I'm going to close that by taking the inside and feeding it out. Again looking at the connections in the corner I can see like if I consider the one that I just came out of as the last finger in that corner, I can follow all around the corner to find the first and go through that. And that gets me here, which is where I am bridging that gap, putting one between the two that I'm coming out of, which is another one of the one and another's where I go both ways through. And as I do that, maybe again, I'll I just draw our attention to the fact that what I said in the beginning, every one, every time I'm going into a finger or coming out of it or going through, those are happenings. And um, as I do this, you know, every time I draw my circles around any one of the corners, I am doing that. 
I could do it on paper with a compass, it would be the same thing. But I'm drawing a circle or even a sphere around every one of these corners where they are the corners of the eyes where the fingers meet. And every time I have one of those, there's a happening and something's going on and the, the fingers get together, together as close as they can into critical proximity where they finally turn around and do not ever really touch you know they just get as close as they can okay i'm coming out of this finger and it's got three fingers here and let me see it's already five on the other so i'll just close that one because it's another one of the bottom corners where i want five fingers And as I do this, you know, every corner that has six fingers, or every vortex with six, is neutral. It, does, it neither adds nor um, subtracts any uh, degrees to that membrane that I'm growing. Um, it's a balanced thing. Whereas if I have only five fingers, you know, I'm one finger is taken out. If I have four, it's two thing, fingers taken out. And over the whole thing, I just recently did a video showing that, over the whole thing, in the end, it's always going to be a, a take out of a dozen fingers in, in the sum total. And this one finger that I'm leaving out of this corner to have it be five rather than six is adding to the take out. To the dozen that we take out. Okay, I'm coming out of two fingers. You know this. I'll bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. There goes one. Good out of frame. One and uh, let's try not to entangle this prematurely. Okay. Oh, that one goes in where the first comes out. Drawing at tension both ways. Okay, now with that we already have quite a substantial uh, chunk, slice of our structure. Um, and this corner here that I'm at now, again, this one has four fingers and this one, oh, also four. What do we make of that? It's a balanced place, but in a way it isn't. Um, because the one with the four on here is supposed to be five in time, whereas the other is going to have six. So I'll do the lower count first, I think. I'll do five on this side, and then I'll return to the other side in time. And if this was a mistake, then I will find out along the way. And if it was a mistake, there's usually... Once you once one knows the the way of the spheres, there's usually a a path that we can do with only one side of the line, skipping a few fingers ahead, or taking a few fingers ahead of the other side to to get to where we want to be. But it seems reasonable to focus in on the more complete corner on this rather than the one that is going to add another finger. All right, I've added two fingers to the side that was just as light as the other, but had less of a, an attention drawn to it. And uh, make ends meet. 
and get the, the other end of the line through there. Tuck, 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 whoop, cool. And that's five for that corner. Yes, so I close it. I'll take the inside string, the heavy side, feed it out again. And then close the gap between the two fingers. Sorry, I'm not showing you the whole thing. It's taking uh, long enough as it is. And I think in these interim phases, if one doesn't know what uh, what one is doing, it doesn't really help to, to, to see another one because they, they can shape shift so much these unfinished membranes because they aren't yet omni-triangulated. They are transforms to a degree and as such, they can look completely different from a moment to the other because they are not static, they are not solid, they are not timeless, they are actually living and moving animate, animator as I would call it. Okay, let's see. Aha, here we are. Cool. We've closed that corner that's pointing at you right now, there in the front, we're in this finger. And this side has three and this has four. And that one with the four actually has all the ones we need because as you look at it from that point of view, you can see what we got now. We started on that corner with the four fingers. And this one I've got my nose on right now. It's gonna be the bottom thing with the six fingers. So what is looking towards you is the big triangle with the four eyes in it. And on the three corners of that big one is where we want the four fingers to make it like this. I said before, we're growing half of this. And you can see how the big direction here, the big edge has two steps. And there's six in between here, six fingers, neutral. And if I wanted to make it three frequency, then there would be, you know, two corners in between that have six fingers and so forth, you know. They don't really uh, change the topology, whereas these do, and they matter much. So we've got one that we began with, and we turned around the thing, and we've come to this corner now, which is also four, four fingers which is what we've got already. So we can just close that corner. I'll take that respective inside end of the line, the heavy side, and feed that out. By the way, you may have noticed that I'm sitting on the ground doing this. And I find that a very reasonable place to do this because whenever we're doing these things, we need a lot of room. We don't necessarily have to, but the more we have, the better. And the ground, you know, is the place where everyone gathers. So if something something falls down, a beat gets goes wild it won't go that far because it's just cool to be on the ground and unless the ground has a, 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 a slight slope uh, things just fall and stay rather than run away okay we're closing this corner here in the front with the four fingers we're in the place where we have the two and we just need one bridge of the gap going through one way and another The 
this is the the, the thing that sometimes these moves take time just because you know there's there's more than one will involved that wills it there's my mind that has the idea of where this is supposed to go and then there's the mind of the thing as it goes all right but that's that we've closed that corner and i'm coming out of this finger and I see four fingers on this corner and this corner has five, which is one of the top of our structure. So it's supposed to have six. The other is supposed to have five if it is on the bottom. So let's just add one more finger to the six, which is to say we add two to the other side, to the light side. It's a nice aspect of these of this combination of this tuning of the system that this kind of line with these kinds of pipes allows me to do this without the help of any other tools i don't need any loops wire loops as needles or something like that at least for now so i'm just good with feeding the the string itself through as it's a plastic string uh, uh, what's it called polyester or whatever i have singed the ends of the string so the, that helps a bit with this and there we close that okay yet another eye opened now we've got our six fingers for this corner, so I close the corner. I'll take my heavy string and feed it into the first of the fingers on this corner of the eyes. I come out there. you see sometimes there's these things like here where the <laughs> the tension got lost a bit and it's good to keep that tension you know you can always go through the whole thing in the end and tighten it up but it's a lot nicer to just not get lost you know to to keep the tension going okay i'm here i'm coming out of two fingers by means of closing that corner and I'll add a bridge. And go both ways through. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm almost done. Two more fingers to go. But I'm coming out of this finger. This side has three fingers and this one has four. I'm turning around that corner. It's one of the three corners of our eight eyes. So it's on the top and it's supposed to only have four. So I can just close that corner. And I take that inside string and move it to the outside all the way through that first finger of that corner. Doop. And then I'm closing the gap between the two, just adding one finger in between the two that I come out, going both ways through with the line. It, you know, I'm, I've been repeating the same thing, the same pattern and the same words all the way along. And if you like, it's the song of the spheres. It's, it's the the tune that we can use we could call it a rhythm or an algorithm i suppose but it's a pattern one out of countless i suppose 
of how we can grow grow along the way of the spheres and grow these beautiful spherical space-time structures in tensecrity and integrities of you know both the integrity of the whole and the integrity of tension the integrity of individual the integrity of pattern and just as i speak of that i i have had the, the line entangled it, it went around the corner in a way that i wanted that i didn't want it to so i had to undo it and do it again and close that nice we're almost done now we're coming out of this finger this side has four and this side has five and I want both of them to have five. So I can keep the one that has five and close that. Going into the first finger on that. Or is it the furthest finger, perhaps? It doesn't need to be the first. Who knows who was first? be the first that we're counting that we just came out of which was the last but might be the first to take account anyways one way or the other we're coming out of two fingers now which is to say we are bridging that gap we're adding in our last finger oh it's only been an hour five dozen minutes well, that's not too bad, given that I've been talking so much while doing it. But the number of fingers that I've drawn together now, with this being the last of them, has been... Oh, by the way, one. Uh, I'm closing that corner and with that adding in that last finger now there's one last eye to be drawn because I come out of this here and there and this corner needs a connection this corner needs a connection and this one so I'll take the long end of the line go through two steps to make a knot here and then I I, I uh, hide the ends of the line in the adjacent fingers and that's it all that I need to do um, to finish this but as I was saying and I hope yeah maybe I have the time left I, I was saying that the whole thing here has a number of five dozen and nine no sorry that's twice the number it's two dozen and nine two dozen and nine fingers two dozen and nine fingers and the connections that I've drawn is twi twice that because every finger has two lines going through it and that is five dozen and six fingers or five dozen and six connections in two dozen and nine fingers and here goes the knot and I'm just gonna do a reef knot um, I think I could do a sheep bend sheep bend sheep sheet bend or something but I'm gonna go with a reef knot it should should be fine and has the put the pro that I can uh, draw it in more closely but I'm running out of time on the video and yeah that's it I've I've got enough I'm gonna hide the the two lines in the adjacent fingers but here is what we were out to do our beautiful half Two frequency eight eyes without the interior structures there could be three more fingers inside of this but yeah that's what I went out to do and thank you for going along all the way cheese